24. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, we're getting all bubbly here this morning. Our good friend Paul's here from the LCBO. How are you? Very good, my friend. I know you've, um, you were telling me you moved to Westboro. I did. Beautiful store down there by the Loblaws. Oui, oui. Yeah? Yeah, loving it, loving it. Nice. Yeah, beautiful location. Busy, busy, busy all the time. Yeah. And uh, we were talking earlier this morning. It's yeah. funny you should mention busy. We were talking this morning about how, uh, you know, there's an article in The Citizen today about how um, spending is down and Christmas shopping yeah. is down. Uh -huh. It's coming, yeah, but it's late, right? Very late. And, and you've seen it at, uh, at LCBO. Oh, yeah. oh, we've seen it. That, I mean, it's trickling in, but it's nowhere near where it normally is. So we're expecting... Is the weather? Influx. Yeah, big time. Is that what... The, I, I think so. Other yeah. people say other things, but I think, you know, when it's, you don't see any snow on the ground, it's hard to get more right. you know? So. I think you're right. You brought... Uh, listen, you don't... For New Year's Eve or whatever celebration you're having, be it uh, Hanukkah, be it, uh, you know, Christmas, New yep. Year's Eve, what have you, you don't have to spend a lot of dough to get uh, nice and sparkly and bubbly, do you? Not at all. No. Not at all. You got some great ideas here for uh, for bubbly drinks. Uh, yeah. The, well, the one that's the most uh, popular, I guess we'll say, flying off the shelf is the Italian Proseccos. So they're just slightly uh, off dry and a little frizzante. So they're great for uh, apps. If you got a, you're serving apps at the beginning of the night. That's a fantastic product. Is that right? It. Oh, just yeah. on its own? Just on its own is good, too. Yeah. Like I said, as long as you like it a little bit sweet. It's just like a medium dry, so not too, okay. too sweet. We got some other stuff oh, here. Oh, yeah. Cuvée St. Catherine, so that's uh, from the Niagara Peninsula. Henry right. Pelham. Right. They you make can... a champagne style. Right. Uh, that's around $29 a bottle. If you want the real thing, this is uh, this is affordable. Yep, that's the Lanson. So that is uh, right from France, yeah. and that one's around 44 And then finally, the first of its kind, a reusable sparkling wine bottle. Really? Yeah. They have you can, a, you can yeah. reseal it? Yeah, they have a special enclosure that once you open it up, it's like a twist top, oh. and then you just push it, it shows back Shows it in. on the back there. Yeah. It shows it right there. And it's good for a week in the fridge. No kidding. It never lasts that long, but... Yeah. You no. Know. <laughs> Why should it? <laughs> uh, you take some of this stuff, and then you mix it with other things, right? Yeah. So, yeah, if you want to do something that looks a little festive, you can add... Oh, uh, yeah. The sour apple, which is really nice. You just put about an ounce of that into the glass and top it up with your sparkling. This one's a green apple sort of thing? That's a green apple sour, so it's sort What's of this? drier. That one there is the raspberry. Oh, yeah. So, again, very, very festive. I like raspberry. People that like things that are a little bit sweeter, we have the Soho lychee liqueur that you can add to lychee. any of those sparklers, which is uh, quite exotic. And the big pomegranate liqueur. Now, pomegranate is one of those things in the last few years, uh, Paul, that has uh, come on strong in many ways, right? Yes. Yes. Because I don't know about you, but up until a few years ago, I knew nothing of the pomegranate. Nope. And I, all of a sudden, it's in everything. Everything. Diet, right? drinks, regular drinks. I'm eating uh, pomegranate on pomegranate. my salad now, and I, I, don't, I don't know when that <laughs> happened. Like, it just appeared. Yeah. But it's a flavor that people really like, and yep. uh, it's come out all over the place. This looks great. Yeah. Oh, it, it, all of them are fantastic. Like I said, use about half an ounce to an ounce, depending on how... And you mix it with the... Any one of the sparklers. Any one. Yeah, any and, one and of them. And you get a nice, nice effervescent sort of. Nice effervescent. You can garnish them with like a slice of apple, some pomegranate seeds, whatever you have. Yeah. Whatever. Listen, I'm, I'm really proud of LCBO. Uh, to see the uh, the spots on TV. Uh, the elephant in the room spots yep. are fantastic. Yep. They're well done, and the message is clear. Yeah. Yeah, if you go onto our website, the www.lcbo.com, go to the main page, click on uh, Deflate the Elephant, and it's an interactive yeah. uh, where it puts you in situations where how do you tell your buddy or, or a good friend or a family member you shouldn't be driving. So yeah. it gives you those sort of options of what to do. Also gives you a list of uh, mocktails that you can do. So non-alcoholic drinks for the people that are A, driving, or B, you know what? Some people just don't yeah. feel like inviting. You know what? I think uh, the message is getting out there, and I think people are understanding that you don't need to have uh, go overboard with uh, with booze to have a good time. Absolutely. And there's, uh, you know, someone's got to, if you're driving somewhere, someone's got to get behind the wheel and be responsible about, about it. Yeah. And I think we're, we're seeing more and more dialogue about that, and I think that's good. It's not so taboo anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. I mean, LCBO understands. Yep. They don't want to see people get out there and get behind the wheel when they shouldn't. No. No That's one wants sure. to get hurt. No. Listen, good to see you. Good the to best see you, of the my season, friend. my friend. Yep. All the best to you. Uh, when you're in Westboro and going to the LCBO, look for them. Oh, okay. We'll be there.